Hi, sweet Stampin' Friends. Deborah Harrison here with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. And guys, it is Friday, so I hope you're ready for the weekend. But before we start that weekend, I thought I would share with you a really fun project just to kick off your weekend with a little creativity. So as you hop on, say hello. Let me know that you are here with me and where you're joining us from. If you come back and watch the replay later, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like this week's project. So let me go ahead and share with you what is happening in February. And so if you have not already registered for any of these uh, events, you, uh, I can tell you about them. And so if you would like to, you can register for them because some of them are starting to fill up. So one of them that I have is my Sharon Milkshake Mystery Craft Box. Now my Mystery Craft Box is probably one of my most popular project kits that I do during the year. I only do a few and it's just a really fun box of some projects that you can make, some Stampin' Up! products like consumable items and also to some really fun little pillow gifts for you. And of course it includes the PDF tutorial, but it is a mystery. So I don't tell you what the projects are. I will give you some hints though. I, from, I'm trying to go from memory, but I think there are two cards uh, there's like a gift card holder and then I, there is a home decor piece and a treat box from what I remember. So anyway, registration is closing this Sunday and I think I have four spots left when I checked earlier today. So if you're interested in that, go on ahead and sign up. There are two different options for uh, whether you want to get it with the bundle or without the bundle if you need that share a milkshake bundle. And also too, my Sweet Creations Club for February is open. The registration runs from January 6th through February 5th. And we are going to, uh, the projects this month are going to focus on the Sweet Citrus Bundle. Really fun bundle. I'm going to share with you real quick the projects that you will be making as part of that project kit. Now, if you're not familiar with my Sweet Creations Club, it is a just a monthly subscription club where I send you pre-cut supplies, about $20 in consumable products and the PDF tutorial. And it's just a lot of fun. And then you never you and also, too, when you're part of my club on a monthly basis, after six consecutive months, I will send you a gift valued about $25. But there are also some other uh, fun club perks. Now, if you're just interested in trying out the club, you can do that there is a one month non-subscription option where you can just try it out for the $39 and that does include the postage to ship it to you all right so and then lastly I wanted to share with you last week I showed you how to make this really fun pop and twist card and I have an ordering promotion that started last Friday that where you can receive a free project kit from me and this is what the project kit looks like to make not only this pop and twist card, but also two, three other cards. And also to a really cute little treat, little treat, little crate there. So uh, in order to get this free project kit, all you have to do is go over to my Stampin' Up! store, spend $50 or more, and I will send this free project kit to you. I also, too, I ship it to you free. And also, too, when you get to that $50 Stampin' Up!, you get to select a free celebration item from Stampin' Up!, so it's a major win-win. And so if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, let's see. Sunday, January 15th is the last day to put in that order with the host code in order to get this free project kit. All right, so let's go ahead before we get into today's project. Uh, I wanted to announce I did draw a winner for last week's share, and that is Maria G. Um, friend, I am not going to even try to, to pronounce your last name. I'm probably going to have to hear it. But it, I'm going to send her this really cute little uh, desktop calendar, as well as the project that we're making today. Now, if you share for this week, I will select a winner next Friday for the Scenic Garden stamp set. This is a host exclusive uh, stamp set that you can get during celebration with a $300 order, but you can get it free from me if you share my video and you are selected next week. So if you do want to share, make sure that you actually comment shared in the uh, comments there because I had several people share, but I couldn't tell who, it didn't tell me who on the uh, Facebook uh, page. It just says I had so many shares, but I don't know who all shared. So make sure you type shared in there. And uh, you do need to live in the United States in order for me to mail that, uh, that free gift to you. Now, today we're going to make a really fun card and it is called a 
slide and lock card. Now last week we did the pop and twist. This week we're doing the slide and lock. It seems like we're gonna, we got like some dance moves going on here, right? So um, this is a new technique that I learned. Actually, this is the first time I've ever done it. This card is the first time I've even attempted it. And it actually was quite easy. And so what it does is you just slide the little mechanism off and then you can open your card. Really, really simple, fun and easy project to do. Uh, you can slide it on, but I find that is a little tedious, so I'm just gonna pop it back on that way. Now I'm gonna set, set my measurements up here in the corner. And so if you want to have the base measurements, they are right there. But if you're part of my email list, you will get the project sheet in your email tomorrow afternoon about 3 o'clock central time. And it has all the products that I used as well as the typed instructions and some uh, pictures to help you along to make this card. Really, really simple. If you're not part of my email list, make sure you go over and subscribe so you don't miss any of my pro any of my project sheets each week. Now, I did want to kind of talk a little bit about my email. Uh, there are some people who have subscribed and they're telling me they're not getting their email. Uh, it could be a variety of reasons. One, it could be that you're one of those about 20 people who your email is bouncing for whatever reason. It could be a full inbox. It could be an incorrect email address. It could be your system or your email service provider is just blocking my email for some reason. So if you would just message me or email me and let me know and we can see, maybe we can try another email address or we can just check and see what's going on. Um, also too, some, uh, some people are subscribing to my blog and not my email. If you're over on my blog, make sure that there are two options. Uh, some people like to just get notifications when I have a new blog post. But if you're signing up just for that, you're not getting my email. So you wanna make sure you are selecting and signing up for my email list on over on that section of my blog so you don't miss my emails. Now, if you have subscribed recently to my email list or you're gonna subscribe today or tomorrow, um, I will have the project sheet for last week's pop and twist card. That will be at the very bottom of my email tomorrow afternoon. So make sure if you haven't subscribed and you wanna get that project sheet, you sign up by three o'clock central time tomorrow. Anytime you miss a project sheet, even if you are currently on my email list, you you can always scroll down to the bottom and I usually will have last week's project there for you. All right, enough of the, the uh, logistics and the housekeeping there. So I just wanted to kind of mention that because I've had some people have issues with email lately. All right, so let me go ahead and share with you the projects or the products that we're using. We're going to be using this really fun celebration paper. This is called Day at the Farm. I shared this with y'all last week. Really fun papers. You can get free with a $50 order. And also to the on the farm stamp set and the dies. I always recommend buying the bundle because you'll save that 10%. Now, actually, all I used from the uh, stamp set was the thinking happy. And I'm sorry, I used the today is a good day. And it's so simple. I went ahead and I stamped it because I really want to focus on the mechanism today. Um, also, too, uh, we're using the deckled dies. And I was uh, rearranging my dies uh, yesterday and I completely forgot about this Give It A World dies and these really cool clouds. So I thought we would just use that as a sentiment label in today's project. All right, let's go ahead and get our supplies in place and let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to want to take is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. And this piece is just your basic, it's eight and a half, I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half. And so what I did is I scored it along the long side here at one and a half right there. And then again at five and three quarters. And what that's going to do is create kind of an offset fold for me. Now, uh, if you want to, you can do just where you do a center fold. But for me, I just kind of wanted it a little bit offset for this project. It doesn't have to be. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the designer series paper pieces that are from the day at the farm. And these two pieces measure one and one quarter by five and one quarter and then two and a half by five and one quarter. And we're just gonna glue that onto our front panels.
And then we're gonna work on the mechanism, which is our slide mechanism. And it's really, really simple. It looks more complex than it really is. Let's go ahead, get those on. Okay, so for the slide mechanism, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two pieces of yellow cardstock and two pieces of basic white cardstock, and all four pieces measure the same. They measure two by two and a half. So we have two pieces of the Daffodil Delight and two pieces of the basic white. And what we're gonna do is on the basic Y is I have scored it one inch, right down the middle there. All right, so I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm going to burnish the score line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just one piece of the Daffodil Delight and I'm going to add glue. And I'm using multi-purpose glue. If you want, you can use tear and tape. Either one will work. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half and you want to glue, put glue on one half. Let's go ahead and let's line that up. So it looks like that, okay? Just a little flap there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side so that the two score lines kind of butt up, or kind of rest against each other right there. And we're gonna line that up. Okay, so you wanna make sure you see this. So we have our two flaps right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burnish these down and then I'm going to glue on my second yellow piece on top. And this will create our little slide mechanism that we're gonna put our sentiment label on or our sentiment piece. Okay, see, see how that works? Kind of got a little bit of a little slider there. I'm gonna just kind of make sure it's well adhered. And then I'm gonna test it because I wanna make sure it works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of slide this on and it does work beautifully. Okay, so as you see, we, it's kind of poofy and we don't want that when we put that slide mechanism on because we have that cardstock inside that's kind of putting pressure on the two lines right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press down right here onto my slide mechanism. I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just going to gently work away and kind of flatten it out. And then now we have our card is much flatter now. That's all you have to do. That way it's a little more flat. It's not quite as poofy as before. And we can keep working with this, but I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we have our slide mechanism done, what we're gonna do is we're going to work on our little sentiment label here. So what I've done for that is I have die cut out with the deckle rectangle dies. I took, let's see, which size did I use? Oh, it's been a while. Let's see. It is the fourth smallest deckled rectangle that I die cut out in basic white cardstock. Then I am taking a piece of the striped, the yellow striped designer series paper. And this piece measures two by three and a quarter. And we're going to just glue it right here onto our rectangle. Oh, Jeanne, you've seen it, but you haven't tried it. Oh, thank you. Actually, yeah, I saw it too. This actually came from Wendy Cranford. I am part of a uh, business training called Creating Success. I was with Rhonda Wade. And uh, one of the fun things we get to do is it's a creative challenge. And this week, the creative challenge was to do a uh, slide and lock card that uh, Wendy Cranford has shared with us. And Wendy got the idea from one of her team members and her team member found it on TikTok somewhere. So who only knows where the original idea came from? But I think it's really cute. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on next a pasture scene. And this measures roughly about one and a quarter tall by two inches across. And I'm going to glue it at the bottom of my rectangle here. All right. So I have die cut out a sheep and a flower. I have die cut out 
three clouds. Now two of them I'm going to use on the outside and one I'm going to use on the inside. So I'm going to set that aside for later. And we're just going to start popping these up with our, with our uh, dimensionals. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get our sheep on here. And then I'm going to use a mini dimensional for my flower. Kind of put that in the corner. And then I am going to add, pop up my sentiment. Now I went on ahead on the largest cloud. I stamped the sentiment. Today is a good day from the On the Farm stamp set. So we're just going to pop that up. Now I could do, leave it as is, but I want to add another little kind of layer there. And so I'm just gonna glue this behind. You have to lift that up, get it to go under. That way it looks like a nice cloudy day. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my sliding mechanism. I wanna take it off and I'm going to glue it onto the back. I'm gonna glue one side onto the back of my sentiment rectangle here. All right, so while this is drying, I'm going to work on the inside of my card. And so on the inside, I have here just some really simple design elements. I took a piece of the yellow striped paper so it would coordinate with the front. And this piece measures five by, sorry, four by five and a quarter. And we're just going to glue it right here on the inside. I feel like my throat's a little dry today. I'm kind of like having trouble talking. Okay, so we're going to glue that here on the inside. And then what I did is I die cut out a rectangle from the scalloped rectangle dies. Now, if you don't want to bring in another die set, you can always just take a larger of the deckled rectangles and just use that instead. So I'm going to put that on the inside here. Lots of options. If you don't have the deckled rectangle dies, you can just cut a rectangle. Doesn't have to be die cut. And then I'm going to take that last cloud. I'm going to glue it and put it in the upper right corner. And then I cut a tree out of the designer series paper. So I'm just gonna glue that right here in the lower left corner. All right, so let's go on ahead. I think my card, is, my little mechanism is dry. I kind of prefer to try putting it on this way. I think it's a little bit easier than trying to slide it on. That's just my personal preference. And even I say that, there we go. Okay, so that is the card for today. Just a really fun little wow card, just something simple. It's not that more, not that much more complex than doing a regular card. And then what I did here for this one is I just added some little bling with the enamel dots that's new in the spring catalog. So guys, uh, I really appreciate you crafting with me today. I'm gonna take a real quick look at your comments because I see several of you are on. Oh, wonderful. Well, I do hope that you will try this technique out. It is so much fun and it's really quite easy. And so guys, um, I hope that you'll have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye guys.